Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October 23rd. It's about an hour before the market is set to open. And the first thing we do that I do is to look at the economic calendar to see if there are going to be any announcements that are going to move the market. And today, Monday, October 23rd, no announcements are scheduled. So let's move right over to the morning news. I'm looking at the CNBC website. You can use whatever source uh, of news that you choose to use. Flags are in the red, Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ all in the red. Oil is down slightly, and the uh, markets are in the red, generally because the 10-year Treasury has, caused, has crossed the 5% line. It's trading a bit under 5% now, but it's crossed the 5% line, and uh, that puts a little bit of a drag on the market. But the Treasuries have been trading up in this area for uh, a number of days, possibly a, a couple of weeks, I think. And so it's really not a surprise. Um, the S&P futures are down 15, not terrible. So let's move over to the charts. Now, here's my chart of the S&P E-mini. And this is a three-minute chart, three-minute candle, five points between each horizontal line to give you a sense of perspective. The market is now, oh, I have my Taylor Trading Zone calculated on my screen. Resistance at 42.79, support at 42.21, and market closed Friday at 42.48. So where is the market going today? And that's the most important piece of information that we traders want to know. Where is the market going? Is it going to go up because we want to trade long? Is it going to go down because we want to trade to the downside? Let me go back to the news. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're not going to see anything on the news, either digital or print, that's going to tell you where the market is going to go. The news is interesting, it's entertaining, but it's not going to give you information of which way the market is going to trade. So I, I look at it as entertainment, and that's nice. Oh, Taylor Swift, Eris Tour, she's doing quite well, don't you think? At any rate, we should all do so well. But nevertheless, where is the market going to go? Well, to look to the future, we have to look back at the past. Now, today is Monday, and that's another factor to take into account. The market generally trades to the upside on Monday, particularly following a Friday that uh, traded to the upside as well. And the market on Friday did not trade to the upside. In fact, it opened near the high of the day and then declined from there. Uh, but can we get a clue from Friday? I think we can, because if we look at the overnight, if we look at the overnight, we can see that prices traded in a pretty narrow range overnight, 42.58, 42.55 to 60 is where the market traded overnight until three in the morning, and then it started to dip. From three in the morning down to about six in the morning, the market dipped down to a low of uh, about the Taylor calculated support at 42.20 around there, but we don't go on overnight hours, when at least I don't, when I uh, calculate the Taylor numbers. The market made a low at six in the morning. It's been basically drifting up from there. Will it close the gap before the open? We don't know, but the gap is always a pretty good play for uh, a 75% chance of a win. Market, the gap closes 75% of the time. Will it today? Well, today is a Monday, and let's and to give you a clue on what the market might do today, let's look back at several Mondays past. So today is October 23rd. The previous Monday was October 20, October 17th, and the market opened at 43.69. And this is my Taylor calculator. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, uh, it's based on the works of George Taylor. And there are 12 calculations that go into it. And there are averages of averages of movements between market highs and lows. Um, but nevertheless, the first column is the date. Next to that is the open, high, low, and closing prices for that date. So let's look at the Mondays previous to today. The market opened on the 17th at 43.69 and made a high at 44.23. So the market's high was above the open. Let's go back another Monday. The market opened at 43.22 on the 9th and made a high at 43.76. Again, the high was above where the market opened. Uh, the Monday before that, October 2nd, the market opened at 43.17 and made a high at 43.38, so went uh, so uh, went higher than the open. And we'll go back one more Monday of September 25th. The market opened at 
and made a high at 43.80. Again, the market uh, made a high well above where it opened on Mondays. So uh, the past is not a guarantee or, or not an indication of what's going to happen today. But nevertheless, markets usually make highs, higher highs than they open on Mondays. So other than that, we have the gap trade, we have the fact that it's a Monday, and we have the Taylor calculator, and I'm showing you this because uh, for those of you who have the Taylor calculator, and you can get it from me at timelessdollar.com, for those of you who have it, uh, you know that the, that the calculations come, come down to 42.21 for support and 42.78 for resistance. And of course, you can use Taylor for any market, not just the ES. You can use it for uh, any other market that you trade. Or for and forex for that matter. So um, that is all I can tell you today. And so I want to thank you for watching. Trade safely, use a lot of patience, and I'll see you in my next video. Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar Trading Academy.